It's August 25th. It's July 18th, 586 BC. Nebuchadnezzar's army, having laid siege to Judah's capital city for months, finally breaks through the walls of Jerusalem. King Zedekiah flees under the cover of night, but the Babylonian troops find him, kill his officers and his two sons, gouge out both of his eyes, and take him captive in chains to Babylon, where he will die in prison. This is an event that few thought could happen. If Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel had not warned of such events, it would have been unthinkable that God would allow His holy city to be destroyed. A chorus of false prophets had for decades reassured the people and their leaders that such events would not happen. Yet despite all the reassurances and promises given to the masses, these events indeed occurred just as God's prophets said they would. And herein lies the critical takeaway from today's reading. Relying on the popular opinion of the masses or upon human understanding is dangerous when discerning the will of God. God is not influenced by popular will or by the opinion of the masses. Regardless of what others think, believe, or do, He will move according to His priorities and His agenda. We must listen to His voice above all others. Here's today's application. Do you realize that it's possible to miss God's direction and priorities even while you are surrounded by people who claim to be following Him? His decrees are to be followed whether or not they are popular. And His relationship with you is personal. It's intimate. Finding God's will for you requires that you develop a listening ear, that you learn to discern His voice from among the many that compete for your attention and allegiance. Now here's today's prayer. 